Yehach, Anjak Hawishka, Chikatsi. Good afternoon, friends and relatives. First of all, I want to thank our Almighty God and Creator for bringing us together and for this beautiful sunshine that we know is eternal. And just as the sunshine is eternal and rises in the morning and sets in the evening, so too are the gifts that our Almighty Creator gifted to each and every one of us, and that is the gift of our children, the gift of our future, and the gift of sovereign tribal nations who have been here from the beginning of time and we will be here until the end of time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When you look around this town, you see you see signs of our history and our tradition because it was the native people of this land that introduced strangers to this land, concepts of basic humanity, concepts of equal justice under the law. They built this country modeled after our culture, our traditions, and our belief uh -huh. in humanity. 100% true. And not only are they here in this place, but we are challenged from contact generation after generation of trying to live one way and one way only, and that is as our Creator intended to speak our languages, to live as our Creator intended on the lands gifted to our ancestors when time began. And every single generation we've had to fight this fight. And I'm telling you, spending three hours in this courtroom with the highest court of this land, the Supreme Court, and, and sit here and still feel that they do not get us. Three hours of agonizing argument, mm -hmm. agonizing questions where they don't understand the basic concept that we have inherent sovereignty and we have <laughs> inherent rights to the future of every single native child born into this generation. <laughs> that they somehow believe the interests of one or two people should trump generations of our efforts to repatriate and restore our lands and our people. We lost millions of our relatives over the centuries. We lost hundreds of thousands and over 15 killed on the Trail of Tears. And if you think about even just in our lifetime, the active effort to sterilize our Native women, who are full blood. That was by design and with purpose to annihilate and destroy us off the face of this earth. But guess what? That didn't work either. <laughs> and we know that no matter what happens in this court, we know and are knower of know how God made us. We know the inheritance that we have been gifted and we know every single child it is in their best interest to know, understand, and appreciate and embrace that rich and valuable culture that no other person can gift them except Native people. <laughs> and that is not a racial consideration. That is a political classification. And that is something that is necessary. This United States Congress saw it fit as necessary, but one tool to protect our children and to keep our children home. And that one tool is under direct attack. And we know that this fight is long from over. We know that for generations to come, we're gonna come back stronger, more resilient, more determined, and we will not give up on a single child. We also know that the work ahead of us is far from over. And I just ask each and every one of you who are here today to reach out to your friends and colleagues. We have some more work to do in the United States Congress on addressing this case. I urge each and every one of you to get to know the strategies that we are doing. This time is so very important and so very critical. And I cannot leave this podium without saying this truth. We know that this case is so much more than our children. There's dark money out there that is strategically 
targeting our children, our natural resources, our sacred sites, in a way in which they want to continue to enrich profits at our expense. But we know that no matter what they do, we occupy a certain place in this life as Native people. We occupy a position of inheriting all that our Creator gifted to us. And there's not a single thing that any one of them can do to take that away from us. No legislation, no court decision. They can't buy their way into that and they can't regulate us. We are sovereign tribal nations from the beginning of time until the end of time. See how we are. Thank you.